does your environment make you feel? I want you to investigate the way your work environment, your personal environment, really all the environments that you surround yourself. Give it an evaluation. How does it make you feel? Now I want you to take an evaluation of how you feel in your most desired environment. Maybe this is you on vacation. Maybe this is you at your favorite spot. How do they contrast and compare? What I find is when we're on the brink of a change or we're really desiring something different in our life or we really want to figure out what's gonna give us more joy and fulfillment, we sometimes neglect to investigate the impact of environment on our growth, on our expansion, and figuring out our next move. Why is this? Environment is crucial mainly because it's reflecting back to us a lot of decisions that we've made in the past energies that we've created and a lot of the norm that we've exposed ourselves to. When we're desiring to change something, to experience something different, if we stay in the same environment, it can kind of feel like we're pushing the boulder uphill because we have a lot of energy around us that's kind of repeating back the same thing that we've already seen. So as the example of when we travel, when we travel that we enjoy is seeing a different environment. It sometimes provokes new thinking, new thoughts. We have different conversations. This is required when we wanna bring in new information because we wanna see and experience new things. If, for example, you stay in your house and you never leave, you're not gonna have access to the same amount of information, to the same insights, probably the same that you could get from other people. So it's really important that we shift our environment. So when we're ready to shift our environment and we wanna do a proper evaluation, there's three types of environments that I want to give you uh, an opportunity to explore. And the first one is social environments. They say that we're the average of the five people that we spend the most time with. So right now, think for a moment, who are the people that you spend the most time with? Are they conducive to the person you're wanting to become, to the life that you wanna create? Or are they kind of helping you stay the same? This can be a crucial impact. So maybe it's even the people you work with. If you work with and surround yourself with people that are complaining a lot, that are negative, that tend to blame, that tend to be in victim mentality. Remember, that's gonna make it a lot harder for you to change because you're surrounded by something that is maintaining a certain state and an energy. And most of the time it doesn't feel really good. The next kind of environment to think about are structural environments. And this is how we structure our day. So again, if we're trying to create something different in our life, but our day is packed with things that are keeping us in the same decisions or the same actions or going into the same environments because of what we've scheduled, that's also going to make change a lot harder. It's also going to be harder to kind of, again, explore new things. So looking at the structural things, this has to do with our priorities, the filters in which we're saying yes to things and saying no to things. So take a look at that. There's also the third part of our environment, which is our physical environment. And these are things such as our office, the office that we work in, the environment, the noise level. Um, this is why I'm filming this video outside. I work so differently when I'm outside in nature, when I'm surrounded by beautiful things than I do when I'm inside an office. And especially if the office has a certain vibe to it. So one of the easiest ways we can make a change is just to change up the environment of our office or a room in our house and just explore how we feel and the shifts that we feel. Because often as we grow and change, the things that we want around us might grow and change. All right, so now you know how to be more environmentally focused. Step one is to take inventory of the environments you surround yourself. And again, feel out the differences. An environment that's conducive to your change will make you feel like that next layer of expansion, that next step, is you're synergizing with it. It should make you feel good. If environments drain you, make you feel bad, make you feel depressed, strain your energy, those are environments we want to limit or eliminate. Second step is to surround yourself as much as you can in environments that make you feel good. So investigate more time in nature or maybe spending time with certain people or allowing time in your schedule to go to places that make you feel good. So again, more time in those environments helps you have that creative insight, allows you to kind of feel and shift, think new thoughts, feel new things, that will lead to new actions. And then the third, tip that I have for you is once you have evaluated your environment and you kind of know which ones feel good and you're doing your best to get more and more time in those environments, 
really be honest with the impact of the environments that you're in that don't feel good. Sometimes we can eliminate them and sometimes we can minimize them, but we have to really be honest with the cost of the environments that we're in because sometimes they really might be the biggest obstacle in our growth and progress. So if you're in a zone of change, if you're wanting to create something different in your life, if you're trying to step into that next level of whoever you are in your expression, remember how crucial environment is and become environmentally focused.